Hello again, one of my subscribers. I hope you are a subscriber, by the way, uh, Dimitrios. He asked me, can you do a video about how to configure and set up the software? Uh, we are talking about the Nano VNA Saver. So he's trying to test a filter, a 950 megahertz filter, and he can get a sweep that makes sense. And let me show you how I'm using Nano VNA Saver. So, first of all, we need the Nano VNA, uh, of course. Okay, so here I have my Nano VNA connected through the USB cable. Let me start the software. And here we have the Nano VNA. I'm using the Saver 86X. Eh? Scan for the ports here. And of course, connect the device. And we are ready to go. If you want to check if you have your device hooked, just open Device Manager, go to Ports, and there we are. We are on COM4. This is my Nano VNA. Now, let's choose the frequency. I'm usually working 820 megahertz to 900. And now, the most important thing. Let's start the calibration. So, we'll try three kind of calibrations to see the differences. Of course, we'll use the calibration assistant. So, this will be test number one. Let's start the calibration. Okay. You know, they are saying for the best results, Nano VNA should be calibrated itself and save everything on memory bank zero or location zero. It's already done. Now, I'm doing a calibration straight to the port, directly to the port, okay? It's saying, let me have the short on port zero. This is port zero. You can see it have a kind of hook. That's the return signal. So this is port zero on port one. Okay, we have a short on port zero. Go. Now we have a open on port zero. Go. Now let's have a load on port zero. And okay. Do you want to have a perform a second port calibration? Yes, I want that because we need both ports when we are measuring filters and cables and uh, amplifiers and so on. Now, they are saying connect a load standard on port 1 of the Nano VNA. No, I will not. But I let instead a load standard to port 0. So we have a load on port 0 but nothing on port 1. Okay? They said we should have a load here. I don't have it. Now let's connect the cable in between ports. It's the true standard. I don't have a true standard, but I have a simple cable. Okay? Well, it's done. Apply. And of course, the first thing we should see is the cable itself. And we have 0 0.841 dB losings on the cable. Look at the red one here. It shows me minus at 868 megahertz. It shows me minus 0 0.006 dB losings. And this is so perfect. These numbers here are at the ends of the band, you see? But I, I'm concerned about 868 megahertz. For you guys in States, you should have another settings here, let's say from 900 or 880 to 950 megahertz or something. It's absolutely the same way uh, to do the things. Let me save this calibration as test one. Replace, please. And as long as we are here, let me have the other way of calibrating. So now I'm going to do a calibration through a wire. Some people consider that a need because we are using all kinds of connectors and adapters and so on. Okay, let's do the second calibration through the adapter wire. Start the calibration assistant. Yes. Short. There you go. Now open. And load. 
Do I need the second port? Yes, of course. Now, let me do something interesting. I'm gonna have the load here on port 1, like the software is asking. And because I don't have a load there, I'm gonna use one of my adapter and I know this is a 50 ohms load. We are good now. Perfect. And now let's have a direct connection between port 0 and port 1. We are done. Apply and save as test two cables. And the last calibration, I'm gonna do it exactly straight to the port zero, but with a load for the second phase. Short, okay, open, load. Port two calibration, yes. In fact, it's port one. Okay, load here, load there. And now the cable in between ports. Calibration is very important. And there we are. Apply, of course, and save calibration as test number three. Replace, yes. And now let's take a look at the Smith chart and look there it's almost perfect we should have all these points you know around here let's take each calibration one by one so test one you see it's almost there just a slight difference i should bet on test number two it's even better so that one with the cables and test number three. Okay. So we're going to use all of them one by one. Now let's start measuring something. Let me have a filter 2.183. Now comes the circus adapters and super adapters and another more adapters and that makes me crazy but that's the way the things are running yeah we are good here and i need another one like this well it's very important to have all these cables uh, in working condition and all the adapters checked and everything because you see they are very very easy to get broke and uh, makes everything crazy let's see so we are on calibration one do you remember this one? We didn't had a load on port one. And numbers. Minus 2.3. Let's write this down with the first calibration. Now, the second calibration was looking very good on Smith chart. Let's see the results. Oh, look at that. It's like crazy. Minus two, very, very close. Look at the Smith chart. It's such a huge difference. Let's go back, test one, look there. Remember, calibration two was at the end of the cables. So we have a uh, resistance and an impedance too. Very interesting. And now, test number three or calibration number three, it's almost like number one there. You see, very, very close. But let's see the numbers. Minus 2.347. Very close numbers. But like I said before, if we take the Smith chart, I should go for number two, calibration through the wire with a load on port one. Now, let me check an attenuator. So I know this is 9.8 dB. Let's not forget we have adapters and those have losings too. Let me have the first calibration and let's sweep. Okay, now test number one, I have minus 8.826 attenuator. It's supposed to be minus 9.8. Interesting, it's not anymore. Let's go to number two. 
I think I love this guy. Cables and loads. Look there. Oh, very nice. And we have the result minus 8.827. Very, very close. And number three, calibration. Here we have a kind of a resistive on Smith chart. Minus 8.791. Very close result, but I should go for number two. You know, calibration through the wire and we've load on port one. Okay, so it turns like my attenuator, it's not 9.8, but it's 8.8. .8. Okay, there we go. I just changed that. I think I have another attenuator here, minus 20. Let's check this guy too. Very important, again and again. Check the cables, check the adapters, check all the connections. This is very important. So this is supposed to be a minus 20. Let's see. Calibration number one. And sweep. Oh, almost perfect. Look there. So we have a one minus 19.19 and eight. Attenuator, supposed to be minus 20. Okay, very nice. Now, let's go with number two. I'm talking about calibration. All right, so all the points are together there. Very nice. Minus 19,971, okay. So let's calibration load number two. And we have minus 19,929 very close by the way and the last one calibration 3 with load on port 1 minus 19 955 yeah close number very close number but again i should bet on number 2 okay guys that was a filter and attenuator now let's see about, I have around an Akasom amplifier should deliver plus 17 dB amplification. And also they are recommending to have a attenuator in the front. So uh, not after the amplifier, like usually it's done, you know, because the output can be very hot for port one and get burnt. It was happening to me, so believe me, it's it's happening. Let's load calibration one. I'm ready to sweep. Let's check the gain here. One, we have minus 5.393 dB. Okay, so remember we have a 19.9. We'll do like this, 19.9 minus 5. 0.393 equals 14.5 dB amplification. Almost there. Again, let me check the cables. This should be 17. Once again, we see cables. What have I said? Oh God. <laughs> right. So it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Let me try some other solution here. Okay. We are getting close again minus four so this is a better result minus 4.571 you see it's a huge difference one db difference 15.3 db amplification uh, yeah much better okay let's not touch anything let me go to calibration two the one with the cables and a load on port one look at the smith chart very nice and there we go, minus 4.478. And number three, calibration, Smith chart, very nice. Number three, we got minus 4.488. Rule number one, check your cables, check the adapters, check everything in between. And uh, let's not forget that we got this number. Okay, let's take the second one. 
I don't know, but I feel good about this. So it's minus 4.78. Let's not forget, we have an adapter, one, two, three, five connectors, that means at least one dB, and we have all the cables and everything around here. So the amplifier proves to have like 15 dB. Now it's going up to plus 16 dB amplification. Let's not forget, these things are inducing a lot of losings too. But rule number one, check the cables, check the connectors, check the adapters and everything what's in the chain should be perfect. Okay, I hope it's useful and uh, please like, please subscribe. I need you guys and uh, let's, uh, let's have some fun sometime, you know. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye bye.